Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Morgan Amps AC20. Really great sounding 20 watt combo amp. It's capable of getting all those really great British EL84 driven tones. It's got a 12 inch Celestian Creamback uh, 75 in it and it's 12AX7 uh, preamp tube driven. Let's get right into the, uh, the controls on this guy and then we'll get into sounds. So controls wise, it's very simple. You've got a volume control, which is obvious. It's gonna control the overall volume of the amp. You have a cut control, which is gonna cut uh, your top end uh, on the amp. So if you're wanting less treble, you can use the, the cut control to kind of reduce that. And then you have a power level control, which is a really cool utility on this amp. It basically uh, cuts voltage or attenuates the voltage to the power section. So if you've got the amp dialed really sweet and where you want it, but you need to turn it down, it's still going to retain all the dynamics and feel that you had when it was basically at full volume. So it'll go all the way down to a quarter watt and then of course all the way back up to, to the full 20 watts that the amp uh, has on tap. Now you do have two switches here. The switch on top that has the sun and the moon, um, fairly self-explanatory. When it's in the sun position it's going to be brighter. When it's in the down position towards the moon it's going to be darker. And then you have a treble and bass switch below that same thing, when it's in the up position, you're going to have less low end, and when it's in the down position, in the bass position, you're going to have uh, more low end. So it's, it's a deceptively uh, simple set of controls, but very versatile in how they dial. So let's just uh, get right into some sounds. Um, right now I've got it dialed fairly clean. <laughs> We can get even chimier with it. That's basically a split uh, neck position. Here's bridge. So you're going to get all those really great uh, chimey uh, British uh, AC style tones out of this amp. Um, let's just get into the tone cut really quick. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So and go ahead and open that all the way up. So when you have it all the way up, that means that's not cutting any top end. So a really usable control and obviously there's a ton of just really sweet top end on tap. Let's start listening to uh, the type of gain you've got on tap because this isn't just volume. The amp is going to have all these really great kind of spongy uh, kind of amp, EL84 amp characteristics where it's going to have all that really great uh, compression as well as overdrive that EL84s are so known for. That's just a little more gain. Let's let's go ahead and bump it even more. So let's stop right there and look at uh, what we can do now with the, uh, the two kind of tone switches at the front end of the amp. Well, say you're loving that, but you'd like it to be a little bit darker. You can go ahead and just throw the switch to the moon position. Really useful, especially if you're gonna use uh, 
say an overdrive pedal and by the way this amp takes uh, uh, pedals really really well and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, turn one on just so you can hear it uh, towards the end of the uh, the demo but that switch would come in really handy if you've got a pedal that's kind of overly bright you can throw that switch and kind of dial it accordingly to work now what I did especially for the uh, for that riff when I used the uh, Telecaster, I wanted a little bit more low end without really touching anything else in the way the amp was dialed, and that's where the uh, the that bass switch came in handy. Kind of gave it this really big almost kind of pillow pillowy low end but it wasn't out of control I, it wasn't like it took up way too much space in the mix or something and i really appreciated having that and it's one of the things that makes this amp so versatile especially as a session player <laughs> just feels great and we can go ahead and dime uh, the volume on it and basically for all those solo tones I just left the volume all the way up and just switched guitars and just kind of tweaked the uh, the cut control accordingly depending on uh, what guitar I was using so it's it's very capable of getting some really great kind of overdriven tones without using a pedal. Um, now, say you've got this dialed in, you really dig it, but you need to turn down. That's where we can start using that power control. I mean, I've got it quiet enough now that you can probably hear the pick off the guitar more than you can the amp. But it sounds, uh, it still sounds great and it still feels exactly the same, which is really important to me. Now, the other thing I noticed when I was kind of messing around with this power control, I'll turn it up a little bit. is if I did want some more room sympathetic, that's when that low end switch came in really handy. Because it kind of gave me back some of that sympathetic I was missing at the higher levels. So that's another really great use of that uh, switch. So that's the power switch. I mean, we can go, I'm sorry, power, power level control. We can go all the way down to quarter watt. And yeah, my uh, electric guitar is actually louder than that. So that's the power control. We understand the cut control. Uh, we've got the volume figured out. Let's just real quick, I'll, I'll kind of dial it a little bit more cleaner and uh, look at it more as maybe a pedal amp and I'll just turn on uh, an overdrive pedal so you guys can hear that real quick. So that's, that's dialed up relatively clean. And I'll just turn on this pedal. It's a Friedman uh, Dirty Shirley Overdrive. So yeah, you're, you're going to have no problem hitting this amp with pedals. I tried more modern pedals like the Dirty Shirley. I tried vintage kind of fuzz style pedals and overdrive pedals. Everything sounded great through it. So if you want to use it as a pedal platform amp, it's fabulous for that. If you want to use it as a standalone session style amp, um, you can pretty much get whatever you would like to get out of it. Um, so yeah, that concludes this demo. Uh, if you've got questions, go to the Morgan site and ask away. 
And as always, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, and I'll have another demo for you soon. Thanks.